What's up, everybody? This is George from Adventure GT, and today we're going to be talking about the oh, <laughs> those lights. Oh. What's up YouTube? It's Jake with Adventure GT and today we're going to talk about Rough Country's off-road lights. This is Rough Country's Chrome Series 6 inch light bars that I got online for about 120 bucks. Everything gets covered in a woven wire loom. It has its own inline fuse and even comes with a relay. It also came with its own mounting brackets, but I opted to use my 3D printed ones. This harness came with its own pigtails, so you don't have to miss with any wire splicing and keep all the water out. And unlike other off-road roof lights, there is zero wind noise. I hardly even notice they're there. That's amazing. My only problem with Rough Country lights was that this was the switch they gave you to use. Adhesive on the back, little push button up front, not very cool at all. So I wired my lights up to this little Sasquatch switch, which has blue LEDs on at night, which some people find annoying, but it has a very satisfying click and is a lot better than your adhesive switch. These are another cool thing that came with the Rough Country lights. These little plastic covers, they clip it right on. That way you can keep the bugs out of your lights during the day when you're driving around. Also, these things have stayed on through 90 miles per hour, so they won't go anywhere on you when you're driving down the road. Ladies and gentlemen, the Challenger! Alright, so these are what I use to run. These Nylite LED light bars leave a lot to be desired in my opinion. These lights are super durable, I'll give them that much. But within four months of having these on my car, they already started to trap moisture behind the lenses. Although you can pick them up dirt cheap on Amazon in both spotlight and floodlight configuration for about $26 to $30. And keep in mind that you're going to have to buy a wire harness to go with it for another $15 to $20. Road noise, on the other hand, is a completely different game. The way the cooling vanes are set up on these lights make them scream and howl while you're going down the road. At least, that's how it was for me when they were mounted on my roof. So to take care of that problem, I added these door molding trims to the back of the lights to quiet them down, and it actually worked pretty well. After all that, you still need to splice the wires and add heat shrink tubing to keep the water out. Overall, I'm not a big fan of these lights. What are you doing? So let's get back to the rough country lights. Alright guys, I'm out here doing some night driving to try to get you some visual of how the lights actually look. Keep in mind, this is only what the camera picks up, so it's limited at best. Right now I'm cruising with my low beams on, and this is with my roof lights on. The camera really doesn't do any justice, but everything is lit up. So now I'll just give you guys some video of me switching between low, high, and flights.
Alright guys, that'll do it for this video, and I'll just throw it out there that if you guys enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks!